The Sutra of the Heart of Transcendent Knowledge. Thus have I heard, once the Blessed One was dwelling in Rajagri at Vulture Peak Mountain, together with a great gathering of the Sangha of monks and a great gathering of the Sangha of Bodhisattvas. At that time, the Blessed One entered the Samadhi that expresses the Dharma called Profound Illumination, and at the same time, Noble Abhogateshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, while practicing the Profound Prajnaparamita, saw in this way. He saw the five skandhas to be empty of nature. Form is emptiness. Emptiness also is form. Emptiness is no other than form. Form is no other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, perception, formation, and consciousness are emptiness. Thus, Shariputra, all dharmas are emptiness. There are no characteristics. There is no birth and no cessation. There is no impurity and no purity. There is no decrease and no increase. Therefore, Shariputra, in emptiness, there is no form, no feeling, no perception, no formation, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no appearance, no sound, no smell, no taste, no touch, no dharmas, I datu, up to no mind datu, no datu of dharmas, no mind consciousness, Datu, no ignorance, end of ignorance up to no old age and death, no end of old age and death, no suffering, no origin of suffering, no cessation of suffering, no path, no wisdom, no attainment, and no non-attainment. Therefore, Shariputra, since the Bodhisattvas have no attainment, they abide by means of Prajnaparamita. Since there is no obscuration of mind, there is no fear. They transcend falsity and attain complete nirvana. All the Buddhas of the three times by means of Prajnaparamita fully awaken to unsurpassable, true, complete enlightenment. Therefore, the great mantra of Prajnaparamita, the mantra of great insight, the unsurpassed mantra, the unequaled mantra, the mantra that calms all suffering should be known as truth since there is no deception. The Prajnaparamita mantra is said in this way, Te Atta Om Gate Gate Paragate Parasangate Bodhisoha. Thus Shariputra, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, should train in the profound Prajnaparamita. Then the Blessed One arose from that samadhi and praised Noble Avogateshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, saying, Good, good, O son of noble family, thus it is, O son of noble family, thus it is. One should practice the profound Prajnaparamita just as you have taught, and all the Tathagatas will rejoice. When the Blessed One had said this, Venerable Shariputra and Noble Avogateshvara, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, that whole assembly in the world with its gods, humans, asuras, and gandharvas rejoiced and praised the words of the Blessed One. Se ata om gate gate paragate parasangati bodhisoha papa gonju sanji gai tempi doji she oba doji mapa doji she wa doji dragi baji metu beju danji je dingo ye so The fundamental ground is scented with incense and strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha land and offer it. May all sentient beings enjoy this pure realm. Holy Lama's high, wrap the sky of your Dharma bodies in massive clouds of knowledge and love, and let them pour upon the earth of your disciples as we are ready, a shower of rain, the teachings deep and wide.
Send forth this jeweled mandala to you, precious Guru. Hidam Guru Radha Mandala Gami Radha Yami Sadi Jadam La Janjo Badu Dani Jazoji Nagi Jenye Jepez Nam Jendra Lab and Jez on Yerubayo. Jadan the Jadam La Janjo Bado Dani Jazo Jen Nagi Chenye Jepezo Nam Jendra Lab and Jez on Yerubayo. Jadan the Jadam La Janjo Bado Dani Jazo Jen Nagi Chenye Jepezo Nam で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、
we currently have, this life of leisure we currently have, uh, we recognize that, first of all, it's very difficult to find, uh, and then a, there's a second quality, uh, is that it's very valuable or has great meaning. Uh, so here it says, grant me then to stop, to, to wish and never stop to wish that I could take its essence night and day. Uh, so here, uh, this text will deal then, uh, when we get to this next stanza, uh, with the various, it begins to deal with the various capacities. Uh, so first we find the explanation of training the mind, the stage of the past shared in common with beings of small capacity. Uh, then we find the explanation of training the mind, the stage of the path shared in common with beings of medium capacity. And then the ex explanation of training the mind, the stage of the path for beings of great capacity. Uh, so when we look at the first section, uh, training the mind, the stage of the path shared in common with beings uh, of small capacity, when we look at the explanation, we find it uh, in the following words. Uh, my body uh, and the life in it are as fleeting as the bubbles in the sea froth of a wave. Bless me first thus to recall the death that will destroy me soon, and help me find sure knowledge that after I have died, the things I've done, the white or black, and what those deeds will bring to me follow always close behind, as certain as my shadow. Grant me then ever to be careful, to stop the slightest wrong of the many wrongs we do, and try to carry out instead each and every good of the many that we may. Uh, so here, this is dealing with the uh, uh, explanation of the training the mind and the stage of the past shared in common with beings of small capacity. So we find in the lamp for the path to enlightenment the quote that says, "Understand that there are persons of three capacities: a small, medium, and great." I shall write clearly, identifying their characteristics. Uh, so here, when we deal with the uh, this section of the training in the mind, the stage of the past, shared in common with beings of small capacity, uh, these are pathways which lead to the higher realms. So if one wishes to achieve rebirth into the higher realms, according to this capacity, one goes for refuge to the three jewels, uh, one abandons uh, um, the non, engages in the ethics which abandons the ten non-virtuous activities, uh, and then if one does engage in some sort of a negativity uh, among the non-virtues, uh, then he or she acknowledges those downfalls, uh, or that or those downfalls. Uh, so these are the practices that lead to, or the pathways that lead to, uh, the higher realms, and these are called the uh, practices shared in common, or the stages of the past shared in common with beings of small capacity. <laughs> So then, uh, when we look at uh, the very uh, the non-virtue, so we look at the ten paths of non-virtue, we find that there are the three non-virtues of the uh, body, uh, four non-virtues of the speech, and three non-virtues of the mind. Uh, so making for uh, a total uh, uh, of 10. Uh, so what are the results of those things? And then we have the um, uh, ethics which abandons the 10 non-virtuous activities. What are the results of those ethics? Uh, so then that's what we're going to deal with tonight in this section. What are the results of engaging in the 10 non-virtues, three of the body, four of the speech, three of the mind? Uh, what are the results? And what are the results of gauge, engaging in the ethics which abandons those 10 non-virtuous activities? So here it says, uh, um, help me find sure knowledge that after I've died, the things I've done, the white or black, and what those deeds will bring to me. Uh, so here, 
what does this mean? Follow always close behind as certain as my shadow. So now looking specifically at the things I've done, the white or black, and what those deeds will bring to me, here, white is referring to uh, virtuous, or the ethics which abandons the ten non-virtuous activities, and black is referring to uh, engaging in the ten non-virtuous activities, or any among the ten non-virtuous activities. Um, so here, uh, it's saying that the things I've done, those virtuous and non-virtuous activities, uh, and what those deeds will bring to me. So this is referring to the results. So just as stated, the results of engaging in non, the ten non-virtues, and then the results of uh, engaging in the ethics which abandons the ten non-virtues. Uh, so that's the section we're dealing with, the white or black and what those deeds will bring to me. What are the results of those deeds? <laughs> Dunghe <laughs> All sentient beings, uh, whether they are religious or not religious, uh, have the same uh, desire to have happiness and wish to be free from suffering. Uh, so once we recognize that from misdeeds, suffering arises, uh, then one will wish to abandon those uh, because sentient beings wish to have happiness. And we find a quote from Nagarjuna's uh, Precious Garland uh, that states, from non-virtues come all sufferings and the, likewise all of the miserable realms, and from virtues come all happy realms and the joys in all rebirths. Uh, so here, this is showing the opposite also, how happiness uh, is caused by virtue. Uh, so if one engages in virtuous activities, one can be reborn into the, the human realm, uh, into the God's realm, and so forth. Uh, but if one engages in non-virtuous activities, uh, then these things will always lead to suffering uh, and lead to the lower realms of cyclic existence or miserable rebirths. So do. <laughs> Less so. Yeah. Uh, so when we look at uh, karma uh, and we divide karma into the various uh, categories, uh, we can divide them into uh, uh, um, uh, fruitional effects, uh, uh, fruitional effects, causally concordant effects, and environmental f effects. So there are these three different effects. Uh, that we can find that we can relate to all of the different types of uh, uh, pathways of action. So if, when, in this case, we're looking at the 10 specifics. So if we look at the 10 virtuous pathways of action, uh, then we have fruitional effects, causally concordant effects, and environmental effects. If we look at uh, um, non-virtuous uh, action, uh, I, did I just say virtuous or non-virtuous first? Not, what did I use first? So that's what I thought. So if we look at non-virtuous activity, uh, then we're, and, uh, we're looking at passive action. We're speaking of the 10 non-virtuous activities. And those non-virtuous activities have uh, three different kinds of effects. Fruitional effects, causally concordant effects, and environmental effects, or results. <laughs> Namen 
અને દાબી દેવત લેતા અને ગેસું કે નહીં હવે મારે ભાઈ ગેસું કે ન્યા પતા એ દાત તંદુસ્ત દેશા સાચે જ ખાંટરી થઈ જાય મારે બધે દાબી દેવો દાબી દેવો સંગીત તો છે છે છે ના વતન મેં જીતે જ દેવતલા અને સેવા જીતે તો ન્યા જીતે જી હોતા તા પણ શું છે ભાઈ જીત્યું શું છે ભાઈ નામી જ રહેવો અને ગેસ હું જે રહે ગેસ હું થાય ને મલ જે ભાઈ ના આ અને જીત્યું જે બધું હું રહીશ સેવા જીત્યું તો ન્યા જીત્યું મારે ભાઈ સેવા જીત્યું તો ખાલી સના શું છે ભાઈ સેવા જીત્યું કે બદલે શું છે બોલ ખાવ શું છે બોલ ગાવી હું વારસ શું છે ભાઈ સેવા જીત્યું કે બદલે શું છે બોલ ગાવી હું વારસ શું છે બોલ ગાવી હોય અહીંયા ચા દિવસ આ દૂર મારે ભાઈ જીત્યું કે ડ્રેવો ના મેં જે ન્યા જીત્યું તે મારે તા અને ખુશ Okay, so we're on uh, page 236 uh, in the English. Uh, um, and so we're going to be dealing with uh, the exposition of the effects. Uh, I'm sorry. And the great treatise on the stage of the path to enlightenment. So uh, we're going to be using this uh, for the explanation of this text. Uh, so uh, we find these three explained very thoroughly uh, in this section on page 236 uh, under the major heading of the exposition of the effects. Uh, so we're going to begin there. Uh, and Rinpoche spoke uh, about the different uh, um, uh, um, points that are made related to the uh, fruitional effects, causally concordant, and environmental effects. So if we look at killing, for instance, uh, we look at the action of killing. Uh, the, uh, we, we say that the fruitional effect uh, is the actual birth of, Uh, into the lower realms of cyclic existence. So this is the fruit. This is the fruitional effect. Uh, and the... The... Namengi Jepo, the Lumatanyan. Garshene. Garshene. Namengi Jepo, the Lumatanyan. Garshene. Namengi Jepo, the Lumatanyan. Namengi Jepo, the Lumatanyan. Namengi Jepo, the Lumatanyan. Namengi Jepo, the Lumatanyan. Namengi Jepo, the Lumatanyan. Lumatanyan. And... Lumatanyan. અને ગવા મગી જે શું શું સિંચે જુ છે તો શું કરું નામે લો તો માથે જુ સિંચે જુ છે ના કાઝા જુ માતો શેરો શિ લાસો બધો જોયો માતે સિંચે જુ લો તે સિંચો લો તો તે બા લો તો તે બા કાં છે રાંડે નામે દવા છે જે તે દિબક છે મારે ગવા છે લો તો તે બા કાં રાંડે નામે દવા છે જે તે નિક કરો માયે વધે જો લોમા તે કે શુગુ જોમા જો ગુરેસ ગે શુગુ તા મગે શુગુલ કારો કે શુગુલ જોમા જી સરે તા કાતે છે મને ગાની તે ઓકે લારે તુ લો નો વધે કલે છે ન વધે તેમ હોય અ સો જસ્ટ અ ક્વિકલી રિમ્બચે સેડ ધેટ ધ ફ્રુઇશનલ ઇફેક્ટ ઓફ અ of killing would be being born into the lower realms of cyclic existence the environmental effect of killing would be the environment that you're born into the actual physical external environment uh of the lower realms for instance so the actual environment that one is abiding in uh and then the uh causally concordant effects uh has two uh one uh that uh, one is the uh um the habituation if you will or the co- the consciousness and that means that one will have more habits that are lend- tending in one's future life towards killing uh if one does so uh uh, uh so uh, or if if one if one will have an affinity for killing in one's next life so this is the conscious uh um causally concordant result and then if we look at the uh other causally concordant uh result we say that then it would be a short life span um so if we look at the physical uh um causally concordant result we see that the life span is shortened uh so uh these there are two uh that they relate to killing when and two two parts to uh um the causally concordant effects section but rimache said best to do is to go and just start with laman sankapa's uh first section here uh and then we'll explain this all according to the the text
So when we look at the black actions and their effects, we find there are three categories. Uh, the actual paths of non-black actions, uh, distinctions of weight, and then an exposition of the effects, uh, number three. So number three is the section we're dealing with, the exposition uh, of effects, uh, and it begins with uh, fruitional effects. Um, so uh, this is uh, in the major, uh, under the major heading uh, of the determination of the effects of actions in the Lamrim Chemo, uh, and then the heading under that is non-virtuous uh, actions and their effects, or black actions and their effects, and then the three actual passive black action, distinctions of weight, and an exposition of effects. Uh, so this is where we begin, exposition of effects. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Lesso. <laughs> Sujabi 
，啊，那所有中毒都控制，杆菌毒、单菌、单菌毒是呢，三个给菜用的菌毒是，单菌弄了嘛，对不对？三个给菜用的菌毒中毒是，那是，菜用的菌中，菜用的菌中拉啥？那是，我的，所接不了说，就全部的你往当，另一个，全部都是接不得，那三个给菜用的菌中毒是。控制人多，来塞，这么些。送拉塞，杀菌病毒了，他看你有多。打针。杀菌病毒了，从你年纪这个，多的送说是。是哪个？杀菌病毒，杀菌病毒了，啊，那另一个，那同志节，每个晚点就不是的，同志节，中午的那一大节了，这是，我都孤独送啥事？那只有当家不对。我这人家就带，嗯，送到带嘛，那多的。那是，嗯，呀，多的几老五的。Okay, so here we've gone over this point many times, and now we find the source for the point that we've gone over many times, and and the reasoning behind it. So we're going to read through it and then just give a slight explanation. Each of the ten paths of action depends upon a basis of the three mental poisons that occur in three strengths: small. medium, and great. Therefore, there are three fruitional effects for each action. In the levels of yogic deeds, it says that through each of the great forms of the ten non-virtues, killing and so forth, you would be reborn in the, in the hells. Through each of the ten medium forms, you would be reborn as a hungry ghost. And through each of the ten small forms, you would be re reborn as an animal. The sutra on the ten levels, however, speaks of the effects for the small and medium forms in reverse. Uh, so here... <clears throat> So we've always stated that a great degree of non-virtue gives rise to uh, the hell realm. A medium degree of non-virtue gives rise to rebirth in the hungry ghost realm. And a small degree of non-virtue gives rise to rebirth into the animal realm. So here we find it supported uh, by Master Asanga's work, Levels of Yogic Deeds, uh, where he states this and states that we, if we relate them, uh, we relate this to all of the other ten non-virtues. So when we look at the ten non-virtues of killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, etc., that uh, enumerate to ten, uh, then we'd find that we would these degrees relate to all of them. Uh, depending on uh, here, it says the the mental poisons that occur in three in three strengths. Uh, so here, this point is is that the fruitional eff effect of engaging in a great non-virtue is a hell realm. The fruitional effect of uh, engaging in a medium amount of non-virtue, uh, in this case, uh, killing we're talking about, uh, would be rebirth into the hungry ghost. And a small uh, degree, uh, the fruitional effect would be rebirth as an animal. Now, there's a separate way of looking at it. Uh, so there's a second point that's made. It says, the sutra on the ten levels, however, speaks of the effects for the small and medium forms in reverse. Uh, so the, the sutra on the levels states uh, that through a great deal of uh, um, non-virtue, we're just going to say non-virtue, through a great deal of non-virtue, uh, uh, you have the fruitional effect of rebirth into the hell realm. Uh, through a medium degree of non-virtue, you have the fruitional effect of rebirth into the animal realm. And through a small degree uh, of non-virtue, you have the fruitional effect of being reborn uh, as a hungry ghost. Uh, so we find uh, those two different ideas. Sometimes they put the hungry ghosts higher than the animals. Sometimes the animals are higher than the hungry ghosts. So we find two uh, um, points of instruction. What did you do? That Chunjinja so the reason we find this point uh, that it's reversed is that some texts state 
that because the hungry ghost is much more intelligent, has a, a very clever, very intelligent mind than an animal that is stupid, uh, the animal is put lower than the hungry ghost. Uh, so this is the reasoning behind it because of the, the, the sheer intelligence of the being, uh, where the animal isn't smart, the hungry ghost is very smart. So this is sometimes why it's reversed. So when we look at the, the suffering that is experienced by the hell realm being, uh, we find that this is a fruitional effect of non-virtue, uh, uh, great non-virtue. When we find the uh, um, suffering of the hungry ghost being, we find that this is the fruitional effect of a medium amount of non-virtue. And when we find uh, the suffering of the animal, <coughs> Uh, um, we find this is a fruitional effect of non a small amount of non virtue. What did you that that you not mention the word what the to say that you do the word that's never you to be the one is never you to be the mago at you mago at you you to be the other kind of your words and now and then much a chance and there's only jay there's only jay there ngesonsinaya そうじゃ、そうじゃ、僕、ちょっとやっぱそうばいいな。で、カトルで、カトルパジャーじゃな、セリオンでね。そうじゃ、ビジュディングでで、セトトンオンです。うん。ま、セトトンが、中国の、も
habituation, if you will, or consciousness. It's translated, I know those are two completely different words, but I've seen it translated those two ways, so I'm just trying to make it clear. <laughs> So then the nihilists say, uh, the, how can this be the case? Because we see there's so many people who engage in killing that have long lives. Uh, so there must not be a, any cause and effect, the nihilists believe. Uh, so just as a note, if I didn't make, that, make it clear enough, uh, we're saying from a previous life's, uh, this is, a previous life's virtue or non-virtue are creating those results that I'm speaking of. Not saying that by abandoning killing in this life, you have a longer lifespan in this life. So I just want to make sure I didn't convolute the, the information at all. Uh, it's speaking in, in longer terms. Uh, and I feel like the second translation I did about uh, the ethics, which is abandoning uh, killing, uh, one has a long lifespan. I didn't want to infer by not killing your yet your life lengthened in this life because that's not the point that's being made. Jaguars, Nabile de Gacadun Las, Nabile de Gatin Satuans Javis, Cabil and the Gatu, Suja Bombe Sutin Latin, Serian was lesser, and the Jasmine. Lesser. So here we find that the rebirth into the lower realms is caused by non virtue. So it's in and that so from so and we've stated that. Uh, from the non-virtue of killing, for instance, there is a causally concordant effect that one has a, a habituation with killing uh, and also uh, um, has a, um, a short lifespan. Um, and then the opposite uh, is that if one engages in the ethics which abandons killing, uh, then one will have a long lifespan. Uh, this will be the, res the causally concordant result, would be a long lifespan. Uh, so when we look back at the text, it says uh, the, those deeds, the white or black, and what those deeds will bring to me, follow always close behind as certain as my shadow. The white deeds are speaking of the virtuous deeds, and the black deeds are speaking of the non-virtuous deeds. Uh, so when we fi find what those deeds will bring to me, we're finding here very clearly there are fruitional effects and there's causally concordant effects. Uh, so those are what those deeds will bring to me. By engaging in killing, uh, those deeds will bring to me a short lifetime. By engaging in, in abandoning killing, uh, those deeds will bring to me an extended lifetime. <laughs> Lesser. <laughs> Uh, so then uh, the next, so we've dealt with killing. Uh, so the next non-virtuous activities are uh, stealing and sexual misconduct. So when we look at stealing, uh, it's stated that by stealing, uh, one will have a lack of uh, resources. So one will not uh, be able to have uh, enjoyments. Uh, so the causally concordant result uh, of the non-virtue stealing is a lack of resources. The causally concordant result of the virtue, which is the ethics which abandons stealing, is that one will be rich, one will have many resources. Uh, so we have someone who is uh, rich and has resources, this is a causally concordant uh, result of uh, in abandoning stealing. And, and when somebody is poor, this is a causally concordant result of stealing, the non-virtue of stealing. 
लोही मार्ग लोही रवा सो जो पाने मजे बल्ले पा लोही रवा था लोही के देवता नाम नाम ही देवता नेवा रही जो रोता वो था जुतियों के देवता ले इन्हें कहते मिल चे भाईंदा यहाँ मिल चे भाईंदा यहाँ छोमा छोमा मासूम आन जो आता सा छोमा ता सोचो चेमे दे अब यूं मारे स चेमे दान छोगा नहीं दे का सुबह छम में बना मारो तो नहीं यूं मारो आ लो लोहे के डेबिट ले अने लोहे पूंछ में डेबिट ले अने छोमा अने छोमा दान छोम छोम यूं मारे स छम यूं मारे स लोहे लोहे लोहे जे डेबिट जितने जे डेबिट ले अने छोमा तो माचा बखाते हैं वो तो नहीं मारो yeah. Uh, so the next one is uh, sexual misconduct. Kanga, kanga, the naming is Jepo, the Nyawayan. Kanga. Okay. Okay. So the so when we're so we've just finished the uh, causally concordant effect of stealing. Uh, so at the greatest level, we're so when we say uh, the fruitional effect is the hell realm rebirth, we're speaking of the greatest level. So just to make sure that is a note. Uh, so the fruitional effect of the stealing is the um, uh, um, uh, hell realm rebirth. Uh, and then the uh, ca- causally concordant result is a lack of resources. So sexual misconduct. Uh, if one engages in the non-virtue of sex- sexual misconduct, the causally concordant result is an unruly spouse. Uh, and Rinpoche said an un, uh, un- unsettled household. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and not uh, uh, not a nice household, unsettled household. Uh, and then the opposite is true. If one in, uh, engages in the ethics which abandon sexual misconduct, then one will have a dedicated partner or have uh, a dedicated partner and have a, uh, a household that gets along or a chambo, uh yeah, that gets along. A household will get along, uh, and there will be a dedicated partner as opposed to an unruly spouse. Uh, so here uh, we find uh, these are the two opposites. So the causally concordant effect of engaging in the non-virtue of sexual misconduct is an unruly spouse in an unsettled household, and the causally concordant effect of engaging in the ethics which abandons the non-virtue of sexual misconduct is a, a dedicated partner uh, in, a, in, a, in a nice house or a uh, yeah, a not unruly uh, house, a not uh, uh, where everyone gets along. Digson. That then, so just ba, maji ba le ba loye, so chin zabro loye jisu. That ngag jun chama chizu ngaji jide, what the hell was that? Bless her. Ngag jun chama chizu ngaji jide, which ni chongsu teke niwa ye da tonul jiu na miroa. तब मैं लिखे भाई ये ना जुतिंग देवों दिल जुतिंग दिल करी होंगे रस ना कोआ मोहस अन्य मध्य आप हमारे खातों के मावे होंगे रस वो तो जुतिंग जुतिंग देवों रस जुतिंग तो बोल भाई ये ना खातों के में बहुत दूसरे होंगे रस होता कोआ मोहा कोआ मोहा दांस वो तो जुतिंग समर बे जुतिंग अन्य जुतिं अने जुतिंग देवो न कुआ मो कुबत कुबत आके मोबो कुदूजारे है मावशी के कुआ मोबे उंगरेस अने चुटी चुटी दे वो दे कुआ दब में बहुत अन जुतिंग देवो में बहुत ते खाते तातारो काना लेने दूस जास होना सो नेक्स्ट वर डीलिंग विथ द so we went over the three non-virtues of the body, killing, stealing, and sexual misconduct. Now we'll go over the four non-virtues of the speech. Uh, so uh, lying, divisive speech, offensive speech, and senseless speech. So um, all of these uh, have fruitional effects uh, and degrees, small, medium, and great. The greatest level giving rise to the hell realm, medium level giving rise to hungry ghosts, and a small level giving rise to an animal rebirth. Uh, so they all have that in common. Um, and then if we look at uh, the co- causally concordant results, uh, when we begin with lying, for instance, if one, the causally concordant result of lying is that you're slandered a lot. So you have a lot of slander coming to you. The, the causally concordant effect of uh, the ethics which abandons lying means that you're not slandered. You have nice things said, that the, there's no slanderous words being said. Uh, so we find that uh, these are 
uh, also true as before, the opposites, when we look at virtue and non-virtue, uh, the opposite of the, the non-virtue, the opposite of the non-virtuous' uh, effect is true for the virtuous effect. So when we look at the next, uh, which is the um, divisive speech, um, so here before when we looked at the divisive speech and we looked at how it, uh, an actual path is carried out, uh, we found the basis, uh, the attitude, the performance, and the completion uh, uh, is involved. Uh, and when with divisive speech, the basis is uh, um, compatible or incompatible uh, beings. So beings who are in harmony or beings who are not in harmony uh, is an alternative translation to the uh, compatible. Because um, it's the same word that is compatible, also concordant. So that we find the same word translated in two pages, three different ways. Uh, so... Um, we just have to always work with the words the best that we can to convey the, the meaning. Uh, but this is the same, this concordant here is the same word as compatible uh, uh, that we're talking about that we also found an alternative uh, translation for harmonious. So uh, just bear that in mind. Sometimes different words make it make more sense. Um, so here, divisive speech. So here, when, what is one dividing? What is, one is, divisive speech is used for the point of dividing those who are compatible and keeping those in, who are incompatible, incompatible, and even more so. Uh, so the point, the basis of divisive, uh, the point of divisive speech uh, is to divide in some way or to keep divided or to keep beings divided. Uh, so here, the causally, uh, so the fruitional uh, effect of divisive speech is lower uh, realm rebirth. Uh, so small, medium, and great. So it's the lower realm rebirth. Uh, and then uh, um, the various, uh, so then if one is born in the lower realms and then born as a human, you still will find these causally concordant effects uh, that are present. Uh, so if one engages in divisive speech, one will have loss of friendships. Uh, so this is the causally concordant result of uh, engaging in divisive speech. Now this is dividing either those who are compatible or incompatible. Uh, so it doesn't mean uh, only dividing those who are friends already. It means keeping those who are not friends apart uh, or not compatible apart and keeping them not compatible. Uh, so here, loss of friendships is the result. The opposite which is the causally concordant effect of engaging in the ethics which abandons divisive speech is friendships, uh, having a lot of friends and so forth. Mm. Yeah, so Rinpoche said the causally concordant effect of divisive speech is a loss of friendships, a separation of, of relationships. And the uh, opposite is true for the ethics which abandons the d divisive speech, and that causes people to come together uh, to be friends. That's so. What <laughs> Andrew 
So then the next is uh, divisive speech. So divisive speech, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Offens uh, offensive speech. Uh, so offensive speech, uh, as all the other ten uh, non-virtues, in order for there to be a path of completion, has to have the four aspects, the basis, uh, attitude, um, uh, um, performance, and culmination or completion. Uh, so when we look at the basis of, uh, um, uh, of someone to uh, uh, basis of offensive speech, speech, it's a living being in whom you can engender hostility or you can make uh, hostile, engender this hostility. Uh, uh, you can, uh, so this is the basis for uh, um, offensive speech. Uh, so when one engages in offensive speech, th th this non-virtue, the causally uh, concordant result is hearing unpleasant words. So unpleasant words are any kind of words that one hears that makes the, the one's mind uh, not feel good, so it makes the mind uh, not fe feel good. Now these could be bad words, but it's these unpleasant words are words that are not attractive to the hearing. Uh, so they don't sound good, uh, and they don't make you feel good, doesn't make the mind feel good afterwards. Uh, so uh, this is what is meant by um, the causally concordant effect. Uh, so if one engages in offensive speech, uh, this g gives rise to rebirth into the lower realms of cyclic existence. Uh, and then if one is born in, as a human, uh, then one will experience these causally concordant effects. Uh, so uh, um, if we look at the opposite, if one engages in the ethics which abandons uh, off offensive speech, then one will hear uh, very beautiful things only. Uh, one will hear very nice things. One, one will hear pleasant or nice things, beautiful things. Uh, any of those are translations are, are, are appropriate. Uh, so one will hear these nice words, pleasant words. Uh, so uh, that is uh, the points made of offensive speech. <laughs> And the <laughs> Nachi <laughs> <laughs> 
Kaçak kişi şeyini yapmayalım da o. O da cüdün gündü burası da. Maçak cüdün gündü bu. Ama kaçak kişi ne demir şeyde karşıya da kirleni. İki kişi demir şeyde çarşakır o. Kaçak demir şeyini kalmaya gidiyor o. O da maçak cüdün gündü burası da. Tambo de parşin de de garen ya bu şema son. Ve dürü şeyna den ne de parşin da den satuzu. Na çık o de jetel tüm mebadan de bas. Jetel yazma. Lasse. Tüm mebadan de bas. Şuru bir tane çıktı sen şer şuru bir tane çıktı. Şuru bir tane çıktı. Hani tanzı ki tane çıktı yazma. Tüm dönüldü tüm tüm mebadan bir tane çıktı. Tüm lobadan bir tane çıktı. Tüm dön Döndü adam bir tane çöktü, nam bir tane çöktü orada. Takım adı çöktü, şokut da, şokut da. Cemal de dağın, zutu. Kankesine de truna yapıyor mu? Pajin, pajin de kalay etten, cemal da ne oldu, sebebi yürü. Hmm, de şeytü nanla yürü. Yürü yürü. Den de, okey. Ve ne daha giyin? Kağıt tombo, çekil de bayağı yürü. Okey. Ne raga re. So, Rimeche is giving a point about senseless speech. Uh, because in Laman Son Kappa's uh, text, it says it's about a topic that is not meaningful. Um, so then the Parshin, the Prajnaparamita, uh, Perfection of Wisdom texts, get into what that exactly means, about what, what is meaning, what has meaning, Buddhist truth has meaning, non-Buddhist tenets, uh, non-Buddhist assertions don't have meaning. Uh, so there's a whole list of points that are made. And I don't want to give it. I don't want to give a mistake in translation because there's no reason to. Because I have this text, so I will take this text and we'll go over it and get the English correct because it's very detailed. What Rinpoche just went over, and then we'll uh, we'll come back with that translated because it's only a small section, but it's very detailed. So um, uh, I will get it for the next time because we're getting we're in this section on Sundays too. So uh, we'll do that then. That samba ba samba ba transit to sukhalo. Transit to the go the Rigi chicken and Rigi. Transit to the go Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, Rigi, so some of the points that are made are some of the assertions that the Brahmins make, that follow the followers of Brahma, uh, uh, that they believe that there are these uh, f uh, four specific uh, rikshi, rik uh, the four four books that they uh, assert are valid or tsema, are valid cognition, are valid points. Uh, so these are four texts. Uh, that they, the followers of Brahma uh, assert are valid cognition. And we are stating that, no, these aren't valid. Uh, so this is not meaningful. So, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't want to mistranslate. So I will get back to these points. <laughs> uh, time to take a break. Yeah. Yeah, ngay raga re. What the girl that that I take what you took in the middle of the night, Chili Chosen the gay, Nasso to check the air, Nasso ship in a military by in a yard, you drink in the middle there, and the Jay Jim in Evans, and the kids at Suzuki Jay at the Jang Kanyaga Master, could eat more on the tone of the Maneba dance, Nachi Bumba in a ชุดกิจเชียร์เด้อมึงเงียบอ่ะชาจาบตันเมนว่าตาชาดอมมุสุเชชวาวุสอนดิลอีจินาบสุเดจมาเวนาเซนเดซลุตานาเซนเดซล
then the causally concordant result of senseless speech is others not listening to you. So you, uh, and then the causally concordant result of the ethics which abandon senseless speech is that others do listen to your words. So you can see that there are those people that talk and when they talk, people listen to what they're saying. Uh, they, they seem to the, be relevant or it's important what they're saying. And then there are those others who, whether they're saying something important or not, nobody listens to them. Uh, so this is the case of uh, um, the engaging in uh, pre... The, the, so when someone does, is somebody who is not listened to, no matter what they're saying, this is a causally concordant result of engaging in uh, um, uh, senseless speech or gossip. Uh, and if someone always listens to you, or if you're someone who is always listened to, then this is the uh, causally concordant result of engaging in the ethics which abandon senseless speech. So then these are the four of the speech. Uh, so lying, divisive speech, offensive speech, and senseless speech. So now we have three uh, of the mind. Uh, so it says, uh, and from covetousness, malice, uh, and wrong views. Co so covetousness, uh, harmful intent, and wrong views. Respectively, uh, predominance of, of attachment, uh, hostility, uh, uh, and confusion. Uh, so here, uh, um, covetous malice and wrong views at their greatest level uh, have a fruitional effect of rebirth into the hell realm and, and, then, and at their any level rebirth into the lower realms minimally Dixon oh yeah respect the predominance the garshini the dusum the donagare the yichin I see. Two okay. uh, so here, when we look at uh, the various uh, non uh, um, afflictions or the, the three poisons that uh, are, are, um, that influence these, uh, these negativities. Uh, when we look at covetousness, covetousness has more attachment related to it. Malice has more hostility related to it. And, and uh, um, wrong views uh, have more confusion related to it. So confusion here is rela uh, uh, the translation of uh, delusion. Um, Sometimes ignorance, but delusion, it's usually... So it's usually translated as attachment, hatred, and delusion. Um, uh, so attachment, uh, covetousness is more prone to attachment. Malice is... Uh, or, or, uh, uh, malice or harmful intent is more prone to hate, anger or hatred. And wrong views are more prone to delusion. <laughs> The <laughs> Jutting <laughs> Long 
So then we have the chapter of the t- uh, truth speaker uh, and the suture on the ten levels both state that each uh, non-virtuous action has two effects. Uh, they say that even if you are born a human still, so even if you are uh, born from the lower realms as a human, you still uh, uh, have this. So as a result of killing, it says the causally concordant effect is that you have a short lifespan uh, and many illnesses. So many problems with the illnesses of the mind, illnesses of the body, uh, uh, and so forth, and then the short lifespan, as mentioned uh, before. If one engages in the ethics which abandons killing, one will have a long lifespan and be free from illnesses. Uh, so these are the two that relate to killing. Uh, the, then the, the next one, as a result of stealing, uh, you will have few resources, and the resources that you uh, do have uh, would be shared with others. Uh, so here, uh, the causally concordant result uh, of stealing is that you have few resources, so you are not, or you're poor, uh, and then the ones that you do have, you have to share with other people. Uh, so even though you're poor, you don't get to even really use your own things. You have to share them all uh, bec- because of the others that are around you. Uh, so the next is the result of sexual misconduct. Uh, so when we look at these, if we engage in, uh, they all have the small, medium, and great uh, level uh, of, uh, of negativity, the, the greatest level giving rise to hell realm rebirth, a medium level giving rise to hungry ghosts, and a small level giving rise to an animal rebirth. Uh, and it says that your helpers, helpers would be disorderly and untrustworthy. So those who help you, those surrounding you, uh, um, those who are around you aren't aren't uh, uh, are not in control of themselves, and they aren't they can't be trusted. And then you have a, a, a contentious spouse. Uh, so here you won't have a, a loyal uh, spouse. There won't be loyalty. Um, so uh, um, so let me just go back to the stealing. So engaging in ethics which abandons stealing allows you to have be rich and have resources, and that you do not have to share your resources with others. Uh, so I forgot the ethic part on that one. So as a, uh, as a result of the ethics which abandons sexual misconduct, you'll have uh, helpers who are in control and trust, and you can trust them, and you'll have a committed spouse. Uh, you'll have a, a committed or a dedicated spouse. Uh, so these are the uh, um, first three, killing, stealing, uh, and sexual misconduct. And now we'll get into uh, lying. Luitsar, Zun Lapmaster. Yeah. That ne what did you do, Jacale, Kalejuna? Then Suchin, Lagwe. Ah, that's it. I'm Suchin. And then Jumbo with Suchin, Suchin to Pombaina, Suchin Sombaina, no Goba member. Let's say, what talking member? Jay Moloy. Okay. Yeah. 
so then uh, the next is the result of lying. Uh, so uh, the result of, in, uh, the causally concordant result of lying is that others will slander you a great deal, uh, say bad things about you a lot, and that they will deceive you. Uh, so you will be deceived by them. Um, so the opposite is true. The ethics which abandons uh, lying has causally concordant effects as well. So that has that uh, no one will slander you. Things, people will say nice things to you and that you won't be deceived. Uh, so this is the, uh, these are the two related to uh, um, lying, uh, whether it's non-virtuous or virtuous, which is its opposite of lying. Tamachi <laughs> Uh, as a re- uh, so the next is divisive speech. As a result of n- divisive speech, the causally concordant uh, effect is your helpers will not get along and you would misbehave. Uh, <coughs> the result of divisive speech is rebirth uh, in uh, the result... Uh, uh, there, um, let me see. Uh, so divisive speech has three degrees, small, medium, and great, and the results are rebirth into the lower realms. And then the, uh, so the causally <coughs> important result here of divisive speech is that your helpers would not get along uh, and would misbehave. So those who are, are helping you are, seem like they don't get along, they're not ca- compatible, uh, and then they don't, they aren't, they don't behave, they act unruly. Uh, so the re- as a result of engaging in the ethics which abandons divisive speech, uh, all of those who surround you, your helpers and so forth, get along well, uh, and there is no misbehaving going on whatsoever. ね、いるもんは通信、あの抜けた土砂でのまま戻るです。いるもんは通信。たみ、ちょっと上だ。いるもんは通じてね、渡らてねてね、現在の。あの、ちょばじゃ、たねが順々のです。たみ、ある。
Pubanjuas. Manga Pubanjua to Machine, Kumashi Pubanjia Okay, confidence. Yeah. Uh, so then it says, as a result of senseless speech or of uh, um, gossip, uh, your words would not be. So the fruitional result of senseless speech uh, is rebirth. It, there are three degrees, and the, the result is rebirth in the lower realms. The causally concordant result of senseless speech is that your words would not be respected or understandable. So people wouldn't understand the meaning of your words, nor would they respect them, and your confidence wouldn't be, uh, would be not unshakable. So you wouldn't have a sense of confidence about you uh, if, because of this. So this is the second point. And the opposite, true ethics, which abandons the senseless speech, words would be respected and understood, and, the co- and one would have confidence. <laughs> Nasa So then we have the next three of the mind, covetousness, uh, malice or harmful intent, and wrong views. Uh, So the uh, first is covetousness. So so any among these, uh, they have three degrees of negativity and their fruitional effects are the rebirth into the lower realms. The causally concordant result of, uh, of covetousness is that you have great attachment and you have no contentment. The causally concordant result of the ethics which abandons covetousness is that you have don't have great attachment and you're a content you're a person who's content. Pemba Matua does Rajela Mavibi Tuanga Tuanga Pemba Matuas Could Nase Nase Nase is on the Jail Pergi Legatio Marvata. Maybe Legatio is Nase Mubaina and Jail Pemba Tua Pemba Tuas Rajela Pemba Tuas and then uh, as a result of malice, the cause, uh, the causally concordant uh, result of malice is that you seek the unbeneficial or not seek the beneficial, and you would harm others or others would harm you. Uh, so you wouldn't look for what is beneficial. Uh, um, you would seek out which is that which is not beneficial and uh, you would harm others or others would harm you. So when one engages in the ethics which abandons malice or harmful intent, you don't seek out that which is unbeneficial, you seek out that which is beneficial and you wouldn't harm others and others don't harm you. <laughs> Melagiba <laughs> The causally concordant effect of uh, wrong view is that if you have bad, you will have bad views, uh, and 
you would be <laughs> deceived easily. So you would have wrong views and others deceive you. And the opposite is true. The engaging in the ethics, uh, which abandons the uh, wrong views, has causally concordant effects. And those are that you have correct views and that you are not deceived. <laughs> Would not be deceitful. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so then we've gone through fruitional effects, causally concordant effects, and now we are arrived at environmental effects. So we have the, the virtuous uh, fruitions and then non-virtuous fruitions. That's... The Jutes are then Lama Tsong Kappa Dets Delpa Yure. They chew low so in. Kappa do chew low so in. The <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Devishito <laughs> So here then we have the two, uh, Lama Sankapa's commentary shows the two kinds of uh, uh, the causally concordant uh, effects. So here it says, the former guru, gurus assert so here, Rinpoche is saying, my former teachers, it says. So form, Lama Tsongkhapa's former teachers. Uh, so who uh, is he speaking of? He could be speaking of Manjushri. He could be speaking of Sakya Randawa. Uh, we aren't sure exactly who uh, he's speaking of in this. Uh, but it says the former gurus assert that liking to kill and so on, even once you have been born a human, are causally concordant behavioral effects. So I was calling it conscious, so behavioral effects. Uh, and then the above mentioned effects are causally concordant experiential effects. So the one is a behavior, uh, the other is an, an experience. Uh, so, so now we've arrived at the environmental effects. So, <laughs> What the Sujibi, Dabi Devin Sundomarbe, Sujibi Dab, Sujiba Le, she Sujibi Dandi the Latin Dangas of Desaju Marbe, Desaksacha. 
대사가 사자 대대네 사자 대 규메바 니대지 니대지 니대지 자동 니대지 자동 내바 메바 규메바 펜 내바 메바 네 펜다 레벨라 수바 토총하스 레벨라 수바 다 전화 돌라 수바 도세 이제로다 토총한테 네 수집이 다빈 레벨에스 소주의 답인 제보. 다 소주의 몸이 답인 제보 때문에 소수 대사가 사차 당하고 또 소득 갈로, 아니, 사차로 소부터 소득 갈로, 아니, 자통 당, 팬 당, 팬라 소부 당, 아니, 토치와, 토치와, 생바 당, 내바 당, 또 당, 내바, 아니, 또 당, 내바, 아니, 소수 갈라 세바 이나, 소분 주신 내매바 아니 수제비 주신 그대로들에 아니 갈아도 세바 이나 아니 수수 소분 마초 나사지 아니 심하네 거시네야 와도서 답이 내버렸을 말이야. So when we look at environmental effects, these environmental effects are uh, experienced where we abide, basically where we live, where we stay. Uh, so it says, from the non-virtuous action of killing, such things in the external environment as food and medicine, uh, food and drink, medicine, fruits will have little strength, be ineffective, have little potency and power, or be uh, being difficult to digest, will induce illness. Hence, most living beings will die without living out their expected lifespans. The environmental effects of stealing are that you will have few few fruits. The fruits will not be perfect, will change or it will be partially uh, spoiled. Uh, so here it's saying that where you abide, the, the non-virtuous environmental effect of killing is that the things in the environment that you are abiding in uh, will not be good. So, so food and drink, for instance, won't uh, be good to easily to digest. Uh, it will cause illnesses. The medicine won't have potency. And the fruits and vegetables and so forth will have very little strength uh, and will actually make you sick. Um, so uh, these are some environmental effects uh, from killing. And then the opposite is true. Uh, if one engages in the ethics which abandons killing, then one will have powerful medicines and food and drink that are easily digestible and will not cause illnesses and so forth. Devo Muru Badan, Devo Joatan, Devo Devo Lomatan, Temba Chowatan, Charche, Charche Badan, Devo Kam Badan, Mabel Joa, Mabel Joa, what eh? Majiba Lambi, Majiba Lamb, Majiba Lambi, Devo de Majiba Inaya, and then Devo Nunu, Nunu Matu Mabel, Devo Joatan. Devo Muruba does. And then I took to she called to the Tabayina and T. Devo Yabo Muyovaje and then Chapa Mogotan, Tansa Yamata, Water Jane, Water New Rando, Water Sukalo, Dabin River Sunday Summer Mudu Mudumba Tromba Meba Nasu Troma Mudumba Dan Devo Joa does. Devo to what the Judu Judu. You do your brother what that is. There will no other temperature was. There will no other temperature was so. Rua, Rugudu. Ah, Rua, Rugudu. The member, member, Rua, Rua. There will no one said the ancient country. Ruson, the shitty Ruson. What did they pay my dad about it? And then. Devil, long, devil, do you ever hear about it? Then they Yapo Yongamare. Then they shin to Jagare. Then they shin to Rugare. What is it? The data in? These are it. Okay. Then Devil, you know what, Devil? Madumba, huh? Devon Joa, Devon Ruba, Tamba Chua, Tamba Chua, Charpa, Sawa Tango, Lesso, Charchiba, Lesso, 
Shinto Kambucha uh, so then the environmental effects of stealing are that you will have few fruits. The fruits you have will not be perfect. Uh, they will change and will be partially spoiled. Uh, so here it says there will be severe droughts and torrential downpours. The fruits will dry up or disappear. Uh, and the, the, uh, so the fruits will dry up or disappear. Uh, so here, the, these are all environmental effects. So this rain and the drought is affecting the fruit. Uh, so here, uh, we have fruits that, that are uh, uh, very few. They are not abundant uh, because of stealing. Uh, and then uh, that are not perfect, that don't come out very right, that don't come out right. Uh, and that change, uh, and then... Then Jagadu don't agare, Kandre J. Ah. The Tambo, the the um, Shintu Mambo Yomari. Nipa uh. Shintu Yapo Yongomari. Then they uh. Shintu Jagare. The the don't agare, Jagari Jagare. Tambo Yapo, then they. Devon Joas. Joa. Joa. Joa. Jagar. Joas and then Tombo Devon. She took the Abu Yaba in a cool, she would join the Yabu Mabachan. Kandre. Ah, Jewel. Then on rule, dark chapel. Oh, it gets dry. Okay. Will change. I was asking Rimbache about the will change, and he was saying it can dry up uh, or things like that once it's on, on the vine uh, because, and then partially spoiled. Uh, so then that is the, the rotten part because we were just look, using the words and, and looking at what exactly they meant. Uh, so we'll change uh, so they could dry up or they could become not as good and then become spoiled. Uh, so the opposite is true. If, uh, there will be severe droughts and torrential downfalls, the fruits, fruits will dry up and, and disappear. The opposite is true. Uh, so if one engages in the ethics which abandons stealing, then the environmental effects of that is that one will have uh, plenty of fruits. The fruits will be perfect. They will not change and they will not spoil. There won't be severe droughts or downpours and, and they won't be dried up fruit uh, um, and they don't, won't disappear. Uh, so these are the uh, um, uh, positive side of engaging in ethical behavior. Mm-hmm. And and <laughs> The drig, drig, ha, kodu, you need the injit seek, that's kinsa, the, the, don't agare. The, the, the, somba. The, the, drig, drig. Shanjitan, danzo taroa. Jenji jen. The, Mitsawan. Mitsawan. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Trinawa. Okay. They use the word evil. Okay. Decent. So the environmental effects of sexual misconduct are, are living where there is excrement and urine, mud, filth, unclean things, many evil smells, 
misery and comfort and discomfort. Uh, so this is the uh, environment. So the um, fruitional effect of engaging in sexual misconduct is rebirth in among the three lower realms of cyclic existence. So then, if you are reborn, then from the lower realms as a human then you will experience these environmental effects. Uh, and here in this case, uh, sexual misconduct leads to places where there's excrement, urine, mud, filth, unclean things, many evil smells, misery, and discomfort. I checked with Rinpoche about the many evil smells, just because the word evil was used, and I didn't know if that meant something other than, you know, just a bad smell. And Rinpoche just said, very bad smells. Uh, so it, it isn't inferring. It just means very a very bad smell, uh, not coming from something else or, or something evil. It's just a bad smell. Uh, and then the opposite is true. If one in, in engages in the ethics to abandon sexual misconduct, then one lives in a place that is free from excrement, urine, mud, filth, is clean, uh, doesn't smell bad, isn't miserable, and, and is comfortable. Uh, so uh, this discomfort that occurs is this uh, feel, bad feeling, not feeling good. Uh, so the one would be comfortable if one abandoned that uh, the the sexual misconduct. That during Tamazitu she led on the Shinkale of your Marbe. Trisha was not bored the Indo, but the Trisin Legatino. What does Nolia Jeo Maris? Jeba Majoa Tans Timber Majusin Timber. There is again another way translated. Jedat Matuba Chano was it? Timber Majusins, Pages Loa Tans, and the Tazi Lokemom was Loa Tan, and the Shinayon was Shina. Jibatan, then Shedu the Tama Shina to the Shina, okay. Jiba the okay. Jizuru Jumbo. So that now uh so we've gone over the first three. So now we go over the uh, of the body. Uh, so now we go over the four of the speech. Um, so uh, we go over lying, divisive speech, offensive speech, and senseless speech. Uh, so we begin with lying. The environmental effects of lying are that any work that you do in the fields or on boats will not flourish. There will be no harmony among your workers. There's the word tumba again. Uh, that we've compatible, concordant. There's harmony. They're using harmony here uh, among your workers. And for the most part, they will be deceitful and you will be fearful and have many causes to be afraid. Uh, so here, uh, the um, uh, fruitional effects of lying, uh, having three degrees, small, medium, and great, are rebirth into the lower realms. If one is born as a human from the lower realms, the environmental effect of lying is that one will uh, not, not have anything good, uh, any, anything flourish in the work fields of uh, so if one is working in a field or on, on boats, so and it's basically saying jobs. Their jobs will not flourish. If they're, they're working in the fields, it won't flourish. Working on boats, there won't be any, nothing will flourish. Uh, so there won't be any advancement. Nothing, nothing uh, uh, everything will be small. Nothing will flourish. There will be no harmony among your workers. People won't be uh, compatible, won't be in harmony. And for the most part, they will lie to you, be deceitful, and you will be scared all the time and have many causes to be afraid. Uh, so these are the environmental effects of uh, um, lying, and then the opposite is true. If you engage in the ethics which abandons lying, then you will have all the work that you do in the fields and on boats will, will flourish, and there will be harmony amongst workers, and no one will deceive you, and you won't have causes to be afraid. You won't be fearful. Uh, so these are the as follows. Rinpoche, the karma ni yure. Okay, so uh, we will end class there.
uh, and uh, we'll come back to this another time, next uh, first Wednesday, and we'll do the concluding mandala offering and dedication prayer. Maybe I just need to watch this here. Didn't stop. Still going. Maybe I bump something. Something. Stupid. The fundamental ground is scented with incense and strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha land and offer it. May all sentient beings enjoy this pure realm. I dedicate whatever virtues I have collected for the benefit of the teachings and of all sentient beings, and in particular for the essential teachings of Venerable Lozandrapa to shine forever. I send forth this jeweled mandala to you, precious Guru. I dedicate all this virtue to emulate the knowledge of the hero Manjushri and likewise Samantabhadra as well. With whatever dedication is praised as supreme by all the conquerors who traverse the three times, I also dedicate all my roots of virtue for the sake of auspicious deeds. In that pure land surrounded by snowy mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness. All powerful Avogateshvara, Tenzin Gyatso, may you stay until samsara's end. I pray for the long life of the precious Kinsu Wandok, upholder of scriptural and realizational doctrines, the spiritual friend who trained extensively in the five great philosophical texts, exceptional wisdom and perseverance. Tuji Rinpoche Gutsi Shapi Denrana. Sulamram Chemo Kanachirana. Okay.